So we've got a new battery supplier for the Gen 4 Formula E season. Podium Advanced Technologies, or PAT, are based in northern Italy and they'll be supplying the batteries for the Gen 4 car from the 2026 season onwards. They have managed to beat out McLaren and the current provider WAE or the Williams Advanced Engineering team. They currently supply batteries for the Moto E team and have been also experiencing the World Endurance Championship as well, so they've got a pretty good pedigree in making electric components and batteries. The new batteries will be packing 600 kilowatts, that's 250 kilowatts more than the current Gen 3 cars, so this is going to be very interesting going forward, the amount of power these cars are going to be able to put down. So that brings the total battery weight in at about 340 kilos, so a hefty unit. The biggest change will be going over to cylindrical cells opposed to the pouch style batteries we've been used to. Now this one I can't quite understand because if you're trying to maximise the space you've got in the car, then realistically having cylindrical cell batteries inherently does create small voids. You, you've just got two circles that are together, you're going to have that small void area. Now the problem is this reduces down the capacity, not as in power, but of actually the space of the battery pack. Whereas the pouch cells can pack in neatly together and you can manufacture them into various different lengths and shapes to be able to maximise. I understand why the cylindrical cells are quite common in mass produced vehicles because you can make them on mass and install them at a very quick rate. However, in Formula E, those battery boxes are used for the entire race season, so having a hand-built box doesn't really cause you any problems. Once it's built, that's it, it's going to be used for the rest of the season. So that's the one thing I'm not too sure about. However, what that does mean is there's now a synergy between the battery pack in the Formula E car and the battery pack you'll find in your road-going car. So the possibility is there could be technology transfer over. So this could be very interesting going forward. Now don't forget, these cars are looking at being able to regen up to 700 kilowatts, split 50-50 over both the amps. So again, this is a lot of power that's got to go back into the battery pack. So this is something that could benefit the road-going users in the future. So this could be an exciting time for Formula E. It'd be very interesting to see what other technology comes off the back of this. Ultimately, it means the battery is going to be 55 kilowatt hours. So part of Pat's tender is that they will have to have a battery ready for testing in just over 12 months time in January 2025. And then a full suite of batteries just a few months later, ready for testing in Valencia. What we do know however, about the Gem 4 car is that it's most likely still going to be made from Spark. So the same guys that have been making the car since the very inception of Formula E and they have done a very good job. However, what we have also found out is that the car will be running two forms of aero packages so you'll have a high and a low downforce aero package so this is the first time we're going to have aerodynamics at play in formula e so this is something that's really going to spice up the circuits you're going to see a real difference in package that's delivered to a street circuit opposed to what's delivered to a more traditional open racetrack circuit let's say something like portland so this is going to be quite interesting as well going forward. So the Gen 4 car is beginning to look like it's going to be an interesting thing to watch out for.